Hi there and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Today I just want to do another mail call. I received another package in the in the mail today. It's very exciting. So I just wanted to open it up with you today, uh, show you what I got and let you know what I plan to do with it. So this is a order I just received from Mums Sprouting Seeds and these this is a a local company I think I've mentioned that before in my other videos but um, they live uh, have their plant is located in a little town Saskatchewan town uh, called Parkside which is uh, north of here um, we uh, drive by this place every time we go up to our cabin up north so um, it's kind of cool because this family's a uh, fifth generation family and they um, when they expanded their company in 2000, I believe it was, they, they purchased the old curling rink in Parkside and that's where um, their plant is now. So I'm um, very excited to, again to support local and these are certified organic non-GMO seeds. So I've received some arugula, bok choy, also known as pak choy. Sorry if I butchered that. I got some sunflower seeds. I've grown these before, sprouted these before. They're so good. And I got some beets. Apparently uh, beet greens, microgreens are really tasty. And also some purple kohlrabi. This um, I also want to try growing into my, in my garden next uh, next season so I'm you know hoping I'll have some left over for that as well. I also ordered something that was called um, baby blanket. So this is a growing medium that you can use to to grow your microgreens on. It kind of has a texture of um, I should actually look and see what this is made out of. And what this is, is felted uh, jute grass. And it's uh, something you can put on your, your microgreen trays to grow your seeds in. And you can uh, wash it and reuse it over and over. So I'm kind of anxious to try that. I, I never like growing sprouts in soil. I just find it dirty and hard to clean. So um, I'm gonna try this with some of my uh, seeds too to see how that works. So that's what I got from them. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple other things and mention a couple of other people. When I've um, been learning about microgreens, I've uh, of course do a lot of watching of YouTube like everyone else. So I just wanted to do a shout out to a few um, other YouTube channels that I follow where I learn how to do all this. And uh, one, of the, um, one of my favorites is um, Keep On Growing with Mike Van Doozy, Van Doozy. I'll put the link to his uh, channel below. But he um, does a lot of um, microgreen growing and showing you how to use containers that you have in your cupboard. So this is what I've experimented with here. It's just a, a lid that you put a couple slots in and you just run some paper towel through it and it acts as a wick and wicks up the water and your microgreens just get growing. I put them onto the lights. These are pretty much ready to harvest so I'm uh, going to test them out. I just went and bought a three pack of these containers at the dollar store and just cut some slits here and here. Um, I might try some of this baby blanket in in containers like these. Um, if you're like me I have a cupboard full of containers that um, would be good for this. So I'll be trying out all my new seeds and uh, so stay tuned for those videos. I also just want to do another shout out to a couple more of my favorite uh, YouTubers and that's uh, Kang Star and another uh, fellow that I actually just uh, started following is uh, Christopher Bransall and the two of them just did a, um, a live feed today and I uh, Kang is like the king of cracky method type growing so I always learned most of my stuff from him and he does all sorts of indoor growing outdoor growing 
but they were talking about you know microgreens and how so many of the seeds that we collect from our gardens in this in the fall and save them to plant next year in the garden you know you never seem to use them all up so they suggested a whole bunch of different types of seeds that you um, collect from your garden that you can try growing into microgreens so that made me look to my big box of seeds here and uh, I have a lot of carrot seeds which they said makes really tasty microgreens so might be trying some of those um, I got a whole bunch of different beets I'm not sure why I bought more but anyways yeah so you can uh, really expand your microgreens and try pretty much anything that you grow outdoors in the summer and uh, try growing them into microgreens and when they get to that little two leaf stage or whatever um, yeah have a taste and they might be really good so um, the other exciting purchase today for me was a couple of grow bulbs from the dollar store from Dollarama these were four dollars each um, <clears throat> I'm going to just use these in a couple of my desk lamps that I have that have the flexible arms so I can probably you know throw them over a microgreen they'll fit nicely over something like this so that is pretty much all I have for today so I hope that you will if you haven't already subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for some uh, microgreen videos coming your way and I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one thanks for watching